Hey guys, Thad here with Iowa Budget RC, and I've got the Turbo Wing Buggy from Radio Shack here. And these were uh, made by Tayo, and they're, I don't know if there's a lot of them out there. I've only seen a few of them. There's some of the Nico branded ones, there's uh, some of the uh, unbranded ones, and there's a couple others out there but that I've seen. Uh, under the Tayo name and that were different colors but all the Radio Shack ones to my knowledge were blue I've done some research on these and uh, this one's in pretty good shape the wings a little bent right here and there's a little rash there part of that stickers missing um, and then that stickers completely missing I got it cleaned off but you can see the the wings bent a little bit there these have uh, pretty much a copy of the uh, Grasshopper Hornet wheels and uh, have Grasshopper style tires on them. Um, these are super soft and supple and they are in almost mint condition. And I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with this thing. Uh, it's a really cool car and uh, it's got a sprung bumper. So if you hit something that takes the the shock out of it but this is also a softer plastic than the hard body uh, the under chassis on these the fronts very similar to uh, like the golden arrow the Nico f10 the the grasshopper Hornet whatever it's similar um, but these took eight double A's and you can see how perfectly clean that is. I mean, this thing, it, it's, it's a really nice car, but I got this thing for like five bucks quite, I don't know, six, eight months ago, something like that on eBay because it didn't have a controller and nobody else bid on it. And I was the only one who bid on it. Oh, it's got a, the, the two speed rear end in it too. And, uh, it has the sliders on the front, kind of like a grasshopper. Um, and Hornet, um, Midnight Pumpkin, whatever, um, then just friction shocks. There's not much suspension, but it does work. And, uh, anyway, so I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this thing. If I was going to, uh, you know, take the body off of it and put modern electronics in it or what I was going to do. And, uh, I posted a picture of it, I don't know, a week or so ago on the Tyco Tayo uh, Radio Shack RC fans page and uh, uh, guys came up and said hey I've got a controller for that and sent me a picture of it just like this and uh, I'll, I, I won't mention his name but thank you very much for that that is awesome uh, it came from Canada he sent it from Canada and I fixed the antenna because the uh, the swedged end on where the threaded part is on the antennas uh, it was loose, so it would just spin, and uh, so I got the antenna in there, and uh, so we're going to put some batteries in this thing and see if we can get it to work. Uh, Grayson's down with the sickness. He was just in here with me, but uh, he don't feel good today. He don't want to be on a video, and I don't blame him. Our initial video this weekend was going to be building the Claude Buster, and uh, we were going to try and get at least the, the gearboxes together and get the chassis done, whatever. Uh, but that didn't happen, so, you know, that's how life is, especially this time of year when it's cold and flu season. But, uh, yeah, this thing is just cool. It looks like a vintage sprint car, you know? And, uh, yeah, I really like it. So, anyway, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to bring you back when I got some batteries and things, and we'll see if this thing powers up. All right, guys. Well, you're going to be here to witness this with me for the first time also. Uh, this I discovered you turn it on there is no LED there's just a little red thing that slides in there that shows that it's on and ooh, well, we, we've got power it's wanting to steer let me uh, let me mess with the batteries a little bit. And we've got disconnection. Huh. Interesting. All right. So I got her upside down here on the stand. Got the control off. And 
It's it's wanting to work. It's switching directions as I'm pushing it, but it's uh, there's definitely something going on with it. And maybe that's why it was parked and never used. Very twitchy. Very twitchy. So, I don't know if that's the controller or if that's the motherboard in the car itself. So, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with this thing. Uh, if I will pull the controller apart and see if there's anything wrong in there or uh, inside the uh, car itself on the motherboard. I've got a whole bunch of Radio Shack circuit board stuff that, uh, you know, might be able to make something work, I guess, if something's burned out. But uh, that's on high. Got one heck of a bend to that axle. So maybe it's not in as good a shape as we thought. But it is what it is, and uh, at least now sitting on the shelf, if I don't have the, uh, if it doesn't work, at least I have the control in the car together, so it's a complete set. And uh, anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to bring you guys this video. Uh, I'm on the mend, I'm doing a lot better, uh, but sadly Grayson is sick, and so is my daughter, so... Anyway, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Oh, and uh, if you guys want to win an RC, uh, if you've not been blessed by winning any RCs, uh, there's several giveaways going on around the world right now uh, from our friend the RC Elf. He chose several different channels, and they're giving doing some giveaways. Uh, and also my friend Keith over at RC Icons is going to do a giveaway because uh, he reached 3,000 subscribers, which is awesome. If you don't know who Keith is, go check out his channel. It's awesome. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Happy holidays and have a great day.